What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And we got a nice little, nice little roster today. And as y'all can see, I got my football jersey on, so we ain't talking about getting buckets. We talking about slinging that deal, throwing that thing. But we got on here a couple folks. So let's start it off with the newcomers, right? We got Nick, my guy Nick. How's everything with you, man? Man, everything's going good. How about you, Trey? I'm chilling, brother, you know? Excited to talk football. It's my game, man. I'm I raised on it. I hear that. Look, I appreciate you joining us. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, he's a newcomer. So, you know, we got to make sure to give him his flowers. The rest of y'all, you know, y'all been on the show a couple times. So y'all ain't nothing new. But I've been wanting to get you boys on the show together because Mark, Mark played semi-pro football. And Byron, you know what I'm saying? We already talked about you. So I wanted to make sure we get a nice, good group of fellas to talk about all the NBA divisions today. So Byron, Mark, which I think Mark might have taken a little quick hiatus. So we'll start with uh, Byron. Byron, how's everything with you? Everything's great, man. Everything's great. You know, cannot complain. Another day to get it right. Exactly, exactly. Well, look, fellas, uh, oh, hold on. I think Mark's back. Let's see what happens. See what yeah, happens. man, my bad. Like I said, man, I'm at my mom crib. I ain't, I ain't uh, in my normal get up. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. But I say, make sure you connect to that Wi-Fi, my boy. Make sure you connect to that Wi-Fi. You can be dropping passes. Like, who was it? Uh, T.O. a little bit too much? My fault. Is that too much of a sting for Dallas Cowboy fans? I don't know. The hate. Don't the know. hate is real. The hate is real. But, I mean, Nick, how, how, how are you feeling? You, you in agreement? Is it Jags for you or someone else? I do think this is a solid sweep, fellas. I mean, purgatory is a funny way to call it having uh, Ryan Tannehill as your quarterback. It's another word for it. Um, I think that that division is weak outside of the Jaguars. The Jaguars are up and comers. I mean, Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, Travis Etienne. I mean, Dearness Johnson in the backfield is a backup. No one's even talking about that. Bigsby coming out of uh, Auburn. No one's talking about him either. I mean, they have a squad stacked full of talent. And then Trevor Lawrence isn't coming into his own as a quarterback. You saw that that switch flip when someone was like, is, this, is he a bust? He said, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. And he's playing different. He's been playing different. And the rest of the division is just too weak to even to me, for me to even feel confident. I mean, you have two rookie quarterbacks, one of whom, I mean, both of whom, I mean, I will, tell, I will say this. There is a running gag in between me and my family about Ohio State quarterbacks and how yeah. they do not translate well to the NFL. Yeah. So don't know what's going on because I do think that is an example um, in Ryan Day's program of plugging and playing a quarterback in a system that works, right? So then they, even though their stats are inflated and they look great, you know, they come to the league and not one of them can handle it, you know what I mean? So I think that, you know, that was a, su that was a suspect pick with mm -hmm. C.J. Stroud to me. I think that they gave up a lot to pull that little one-two punch that I think might backfire. I don't know. Will Anderson is a freak. I'll give I'll give them their credit there, but they could have just drafted Will Anderson and then still went on to draft a, a quarterback later on. Yeah. Uh, now, for me, I think that the you know same same boat, and I'm sorry, but Anthony Richardson played pretty inconsistent in college, and he started one year. You know, I mean, he was supposed they were supposed to start Gardner Minshew. They were supposed to start Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew has been a solid starter in this league. He is not a winner, but he is a, he is someone you can plug in and get B level accuracy right he doesn't throw a lot of interceptions and he throws touchdowns right so he was gonna so i do think that that call even though it's true that he is i mean we're talking about probably an athlete that's better than cam Newton, you yeah, know yeah, just a pure product like a pure prototypical quarterback who has might be a once in a generation talent but he's not ready so i think that that that's the jaguars division by not even close Okay. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I talked to, I talked with, I think I talked with Mark about this already. You have the number one pick, you know, you, my boys right now, you got, you got Bryce or you got that man, AR, you got Anthony Richardson. How, who, mm -hmm. who are you going with? You going with Bryce or you going with Anthony Richardson? Bryce, Bryce Young. Yeah. That's not, even, that's not even close. That was, a, that was, a, that was a gimme. I mean, it's not made something different. That boy was something different. The, the, the reason why I like Anthony a little bit more, I'll, I'll take Bryce, don't get me wrong, but I, I, I kind of want to Anthony. Because like you said, when he was at Florida, I know he had like five interceptions early on, no touchdowns. But then he finished the season strong with like 17 touchdowns and like nine interceptions. So if I'm looking at that turn turning point, that's now 17 to four touchdown to interception ratio. At the, I, I see adaptabil adaptability plus with his physical presence. I think you can work with that, but uh, that that's why I might lean him. And then Florida, you know, who's really over there? Like, 
But I'm just saying that's in regard. You're talking about college football, which is really inconsistent in terms of talent he's playing against. You know, so those teams where he was throwing those four touchdowns, still with a 40% completion percentage in a lot of those games, if you watch, if you go back and watch. I mean, he's a freak athlete, so he can make those throws. He can be, you know, running and just flick his wrist and throw a 60-yard pass. He's a product. He is a – if I'm going to build a quarterback, it's Anthony Richardson. That's true, right? But he needs time. So if I'm going to come into a situation where I'm expecting someone to come in and start immediately, like the Colts, like the Panthers, like the Texans, like a lot of these squads that went out there and got there who they thought would be the, the you know, the pick of their franchise, Bryce Young is the most ready to play. And that's not even close. How about going forward long term? Who would you have between Bryce and Anthony being the better quarterback if you had to put it, if you had to put money on it? Bryce. I had to put money on it, Bryce Young, because there's always going to be the there's always going to be the factor of who's teaching, right? Who's mm. going to be, no to be a good quarterback, right? There's always going to be that what if of let's say you know Vince Young went to um, the Patriots instead of the Titans. You know, if it, you know, if there's always going to be that what happened if Michael Vick went to the Packers instead of the Falcons, right? There's always that what if of quarterback development and how if you take these talents and put them in a situation and a culture that will work for them. I mean, this this new coach, if he had been drafted by Frank Wright, he might have actually turned out to be a great quarterback. But he was drafted by a defensive minded quarterback, a defensive minded guy. Now. So that's really kind of worrying to me. Right. Wow, that's tough. And, bro, I got to just get to it. Like, Anthony Richardson is black Tim Tebow with a little bit more juice. And this is what I'm saying. I, I live in Florida. Like, so I've seen the game. I mean, I think I think he can be taught. I think he needs more time. But the product he that he is right now, bro, he, again, like, like my man said, he's not ready. If he's inaccurate, he has problems sometimes just, you know, navigating the, the second and third reads. So then you want to take off, but in the NFL, everyone's fast. So you can't just get going like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, like just the, the QB vision, that that is my biggest concern. When it comes to athletics, he's off the charts. When it comes to ta- potential talent, he's off the charts. But if you can't read the defense, you can't be effective as a quarterback. And I'm talking That's like, if you can Google this in. Just type in Google or YouTube, Anthony Richardson, weakness. The first thing I'm going to say he, he can't process it. Uh, uh, three blind mice, man. Like, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> three I'm blind like, mice is crazy. crazy. Yeah. Black, black Tim Tebow is wild. Crazy. Yeah, that's tough. You basically just <laughs> called him Cam Tebow, I guess. Like, that's that's tough. Because he got the athleticism of Cam. Like, so you saying he's going to be Tim Tebow. All no, right. all right, all right, all right. Okay, then. That's Less wild. accurate that's Cam Newton. Would that be a better? Uh, would that be better? Because, I mean, from yeah, what I've seen, I'm that's, telling you, bro, that's Tim Newton right there. That's Tim Newton right there. That's Tim Newton. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you, if, as, a, as a fantasy player, I might take AR because even though he's going to come out there and have a 40% completion percentage. I can run that thing. I'm about to say he still might give me 1,300 yards and nine touchdown runs. Especially if Jonathan Taylor's not there in the backfield, too. He definitely going to have a lot of opportunity to just run. But, I mean, if he's not effective, Gardner has been effective as a backup quarterback, so he he can come in and, and start possibly making some plays. So it'll be interesting to see how that how that one shakes. But long story short, you know, sounds like the Jags to uh, to lose. Um, who would y'all put as a second team? I guess would it be the Titans? I mean, it's got to be just because of you know, like well, the head coach. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, I ain't, but no, nah, fellas, I greatly appreciate this time. This was a good combo. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this roster together because I, you know, I, when, you, when you realize greatness is here, fellas, you know you got to keep it together. So I, I like this one. I, I like Nick. You were very good today, man. Like, hey, yeah, you I'm, got a talent for it, bro. Thank yeah, you, I'm thank so you. Serious, bro. Like, I'm so happy right now that this man Corey <laughs> and I would ha- had that little cookout thing, and you swung by. I'm like, oh yes, sir. Easy work, easy work. So yeah, now thank we definitely got couple boys back on the show again. Um, but do y'all have anything you want to say before you close before we close up shop, Nick? Since you're a newcomer. Let's start it off with you. Steelers going to the playoffs. I call it. That's it. All right. All right. I mean, I mean, I mean I think, I'm just saying, you said I have a talent for this stuff. At the end of the season, when they're in the playoffs, you know, buy me a cheeseburger. That's all I'm saying. Buy me a cheeseburger. I mean, look, look, I was told if people disagree, 
you know, you say bet. So, I mean, you got to, you got to, we can do like a nice little $10 spot on the Steelers. If they make it, I can slide you 10. If they miss it, I'm going to appreciate the 10. Like, that's yeah. how, that's how we do on Get a Bucket. Friendly wagers, friendly wagers, but we ain't, I'm about to say friendly wagers, but we still got to pay bills though, so we ain't doing nothing egregious. Like, I, Mark, did, Mark, did you want to, did you want to double or nothing it or, or are you good? I'm good with the cheeseburger, bro, and a shot. Give me a cheeseburger and a shot. I'm a simple man, simple passion. All right, so but if they get to the if the Steelers get to the playoffs, that means you owe him a cheeseburger and a shot. I'm a, yeah, that's I'm a, I, I, just making sure. I'm I'm a, and look, I ain't hear no stipulations where the cheeseburger from. So that's they got fine, bro. That's fine, bro. That's all I'm, I'm saying. A, that cheeseburger might be something in Florida. I mean, you got to run me to, uh, You got to run me to cookout, bro. I don't know. I think cookout's the move. I, I got you, bro. I'm a chef, though, in my own right, bro. So I got you. Yeah, he likes cooking. He likes cooking, actually. So oh. I, I, and I was saying, Mark, and, uh, Mark, when you come up this way, too, I'll try to actually get us to do, like, an in-person recording, too. That might be dope, too. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. awesome, yeah. Yeah, so. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, Mark, did you have anything you want to say before we close up shop? Go Cowboys. All day, every day. Yeah. <laughs> Two questionable statements to end the show. That's why I'm not- <laughs> <laughs> Matt Pins off strong, but no, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all like, subscribe, please comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host. Get a bucket, fellas. Again, I greatly appreciate you for joining, taking the time out your busy day to help me out. And with that, we will close up shop. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. not know you guys were still here as, as, as you can see we're at the back end of the show no pun intended but look hope you all enjoyed it and before you go please subscribe to the youtube channel follow the ig account share the content to anybody who's anybody and most importantly leave your thoughts and comments below but i gotta go back and play buddy in 2k so let me unmute him real quick excuse me hey boss i'm back nah you better catch this word you know we get buckets around here